Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network, my name is Zira, and today we are playing Assassin's Creed Rogue. We find ourselves in the North Atlantic, getting ready to head out once again on our journey to find La Chevalier, and yeah, we're ready to get going, we're, we're not even going to take any time. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. Hmm. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Oh. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. And then there's the maids I met in this. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. Yeah, spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. I sort of want to attack this man of war here. Almost there, Captain. The chasseur will be expecting us. Ah! Uh. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Seventy-five? I feel like this thing should be sinking. Alright. Let's dock. Okay, so we are at St. John's. What's going on here? Who are you? Oh! Really? Let's fill our ammo, and then I suppose we should probably climb to the top of this uh, tower here, this uh, lighthouse. I assume it's a lighthouse anyway. I wasn't actually looking at it till I got up here, but lighthouse makes sense considering where we are on the ocean. No, get up there, Shay. Thank you. Aha! It is, in fact, a lighthouse. Oh, and there's something way up top there. Awesome, we'll synchronize, and then we'll head up to the top of the lighthouse to grab ourselves whatever that thingy is. Come on. Climb, Shay. Prosperity. Uh, okay. Not quite what I intended, but it works. It's not that big of a deal to get back up here. We just climb up this little ladder and then head into this thingy. Now, 
What is going on here? I should upgrade my ship. Okay. Okay. Uh, where is the hay? I think it's right here. Yep. What do you want me to upgrade about my ship? Get out of the way. Wow, Liam. I feel like you're in two places at once, man. Can I upgrade my ship? I don't have any money. I really... I really can't upgrade my ship. Okay. Okay. So, we're just going to uh, head up here and start the mission no matter what it says, because, you know. Third time's the charm, right? Climbing up the little thingy here. Okay. Let's begin. One little victory. Sequence number two. Chevalier! What happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him... There. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Hmm. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Okay. So we now have ourselves some Puckle guns? All right, the Puckle Gun. Hold right bumper to fire the Puckle Gun at weak spots. Free aim the Puckle Gun using the right trigger. Fire! Not dead. Oh! I will join you. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, she? Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded. And I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. He also took the liberty of ordering some of the boots. I've heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. Oh, Smith. oh wow. Oi, he sails these very waters. He may have a few person box. I like this puckle gun. Much better than swivel guns. Much, much nicer. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. We gotta do something with this. So I need that schooner. Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. They seen us. Give chase. But hold your fire. You risk losing it to the sea. Can't this body go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Fire! Destroy the box. What is Maybe he came here to meet you, of course. Or rather, to your pirates. Refitting his ship.
Oh, he's stuck. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. Okay, I sail through ice sheets to cut through them with a the new ice ram. Fire! Smith is getting away. The Ranger. It's an ambush. Story three gunboats with the buckle gun. Well, why did it just stop me here so this brig can ram me? Oh, that's new. That is new. What's going on? They oh they boarded us? Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. So we need to head onto our ship because they've boarded and are wrecking havoc against our crew here. There we go. Two more. Any more? Okay. Good. We got them. I like the fact that they can board us. That is awesome that they have included that. We're going to salvage this ship because we don't really need the rep the money. Uh, no, we don't really need to repair ours. And then... I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find them. So I need to sink the little thingies with the puckle gun. That's fine. Oh. And now I'm smashing into things. Go! Fire! Did I get all three of them? I think I did. Nope, I did not. Hmm. What is going on here? What not to disappoint him? And he's still within reach. I like all this cargo inside the ice. Is he stuck? What's he doing? He's going... He's going this way into like a what channel or something. This? Another Templar tactic. You can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than the last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Sir, All right. To the floor. Reef the top sails and gallants. Oh. Fire. This wind is like an Shut enemy sail. here. Don't, Get don't, don't. No, 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 no. Slow down, boys. Oh, no. We're on fire. Go. Alright. We got the ship. Now we know where he was headed. Bastard has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I take care of this. Okay. No, no, no. Stop turning. Don't turn me. Just, just let me go. I got this. Hi there. Rope dart. How'd I get a rope dart? Clear shot on a fish in a barrel, mate. Hi there. 
I can't see anything. There we go. Ow. Alright, we need... How do I equip this? Take that. He still sees us. Ah. Hey guys. Alright, let's loot these guys. Oop, one of them even has some ammo. Alright. Now, can I... Nah. I'll just wait right here. <laughs> I love these berserk darts. <laughs> this cannot be. <laughs> no. Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. All right. Now that's not fair. I feel like I just destroyed a bunch of ships with the puckle gun. We got the burning oil upgrade. Awesome. And Shay, that is a really interesting pose right there. Is is this like the reverse Captain Morgan here? <laughs> Alright, I guess we're heading back to our ship now. I don't really feel like exploring this island. I'm surprised that the, uh, the British here haven't opened fire on us or something. I'm stuck. Stop going, Yar, and let me let me get to the sh the ship here. Yeah. All right. I've got the precursor box. Oh, fast travel. Okay. It's dead. Where's Chevalier? Turning to the Gaffo. We'll have to celebrate without him. I don't much feel like celebrating, Liam. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. Killing him was necessary. But nothing. Smith was a dangerous man, a Templar. And what's worse, he had to break her. Hold on. Something is on that island. What is this? Blueprint. Uh, all right, we're going back. Perhaps we should head for Albany now. James Wardle, the fellow Lawrence Washington gave the manuscript to, will be there. Sega Wasi reported that James Wardle rooted out many tribes from their ancestors. He's one of the most devious and ruthless men in the colonies. He uses the letter of the law to serve his purposes, and when the law does not bend to him. He gets lawmakers to bend it for him. Hmm. All right, so we have to go find the Samuel Wardrop guy next. 
really... Shay. Shay, why do you keep just, like, deciding to jump into... Hi there. Alright. Ha Stay down. Alright, so now we need to go somewhere to get like up top here or something. Oh, or. Wolf. Hey, puppy. Yeah, there we go. Oop, there's more of them. Cool. I don't think there's anything here that's just out in the open. Yeah, it looks like everything's gonna be underground here. Let's refill our ammo. Did I get both of those wolves? I did not. But maybe I can't. I do hear something still... Something twinkling. There's a chest. Right here. Let's find out. Let's zoom right in here. How do I zoom? Alright. Cool. So I guess... In we go. Reach the native pillar. Okay. Shay, why can't you climb up here? Am I confused about something? Am I not supposed to go this way? Like, what's going on here? Oh! Really? Why? Like, every time I try to climb up here, it pushes me elsewhere. Come on! Come on! You can do it, Shay! Yes! After all that trouble, I don't think I was supposed to get up here like this. But, we did. All right. Uh What is this place? Is this like a precursor place? Like a temple maybe? So I need a shrapnel grenade or a powder keg. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I need to come back here because there isn't the stuff I need right now. I think that's what it's telling me. There's got to be a powder keg here. Shay, 
you really don't climb very well, do you? You need to, like, go see Edward or Ezio or any of them for some, like, lessons here. Really? Come on! Get up there. Why can't you climb? Like... There's obviously handholds here. Okay, two of twenty four cave paintings. Humanity. Alright, let's climb up here. <sighs> Maybe if Shay decides he wants to. <sighs> Alright, so what is this thing? Decipher the hidden code behind these native totems to uncover ancient artifacts. Align all lines with the arrow on each end of the pillar. Okay. Like that? So what is this? Is it a key? Okay. A totem, more can we... Piles of native mounds and ice something. Alright, so I don't see anything explosive around here that I could use to get in that wall, so I'm afraid that we're going to have to wait until we get our shrapnel grenades before we can come back here and find that blueprint, which is really unfortunate because I wanted to get it now while we're right here. All right, where are we going now? We need to go go to that place. So, hmm. So let's fast travel to North America. All right, so we have we have a small journey ahead of us until we get to Albany, I believe that's supposed to be, and then after that, A shipwreck. Twin Snake Pass. Path. There's the city of Argus. Greatest frontier town of all. Where the rain it is raining all the day long. 
Oh. The great city of Albany, huh? Is this Albany, New York? Back in the day. Back in 1754. Hmm. All right, well, I think this is as good a time as ever to end the episode. Uh, so next time when we return, we are going to make our way to whatever this objective is here. Oh, and we almost hit the ground. Lots of people don't like us because it's restricted. Get off of there, Shay. So what do we have going on? It's like we've got part of the city controlled by the British and part controlled by whoever those guys are. Okay. So we are, they don't like us in the British part of town, but we're fine over on this side. They must be the French, because we're like friends with the French, right? Or maybe they're assassin forces. Hmm. Unlock what activity? I don't know what activity we keep finding that we can't do, but we're, we're going to have to progress in the story. Alright, so... Yeah, we the people. So we've got Liam and Hope and... Some sort of assassin, like, place here. And next time, we'll, we'll see what's going on. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Bringing you Assassin's Creed Rogue. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.